<laughs> I'm sitting on the roof of the TV tower 170 meters above Lithuania's capital Vilnius. Being on top of the TV tower is probably the highest adventure here in Vilnius. But there's loads of other stuff to do. Today, I'll tell you what to see, eat and do in the Lithuanian capital. A broad range of European architecture styles are concentrated in a small space here. Over half a million people live here in the country's biggest city. And its old town has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for many years. The Cathedral Square is the most important square in Vilnius. It's named after the Cathedral Basilica of St. Stanislaus and St. Ladislaus right behind me. Next to it is the Bell Tower. First, I'll have a look around the Cathedral. It was built in the 18th century, but the first Christian house of worship on this site dates back to the 13th century. Laura Miss United shows me the church and one of its most important relics the lower arm bone of one of its name givers, St. Stanislaus, an 11th century bishop of Krakow. It was gifted for Lithuania only after 300 years, when Lithuania eventually was Christianized. So when the first church was built in this place, actually the relic of St. Stanislaus was gifted to Lithuania to symbolize maybe continuity between the states, two states of Poland and Lithuania together. Then, of course, I take the opportunity to see the bell tower right next to the church, one of the city's oldest and most melodious towers. And the view is quite spectacular too. You know there's another tower for me to climb today, but first I have to get something to eat. That something is Shaltibarshai. It's a very straightforward soup made with just a few ingredients. You mix beets, cucumbers and green onions with kefir and it's done. For me it's, uh, it's more like, uh, you know, cold drink. It's so refreshing, it's, it's, it's not sweet, it's not uh, salty. Plus uh, kefir, it's, it's so typical, it's like, it's maybe leftovers of uh, post soviet times, but it's still very popular here in the Finian. And then it's ready to serve. This is a first for me. I've never tried cold beet soup before. This is very delicious. Now I feel ready for my highest adventure today in Vilnius. Yes, you know what's next. Me walking on top of this 170 meters high TV tower. I don't know if that's a good idea. Please hold this here. Okay. And now please go to my colleague. From the moment I step out of the cage onto the TV tower roof, I'm secured by a line, so nothing can happen. And the line is just the right length, so I can't fall over the edge. But I can walk all the way around the tower once. This is really a stunning view, but I'm a bit afraid of the height. Then comes the ultimate uh, test of courage, sitting on the brink. Uh, okay, everything is really secure. I mean, even my glasses have a rope, but this is frightening anyhow. By the end of my day in Vilnius, this much is clear. The city has so much to offer that I'll definitely have to come again. <laughs>